Good morning, everyone. Guess the laundry. All right, so we are still at the <laughs> Hilton Garden. Uh, we're gonna take a zero day today so we can line up good weather for Virginia's Triple Crown, uh, which is Dragon's Tooth, the Cafe Knob, and uh, Tinker Cliffs. Um, those are like, really big Appalachian Trail uh, sites, and we really didn't want to be Hike, like hiking on the days where it's really bad. And Show what it looks like outside. This is what it looks out, so like outside today. <sighs> Sorry, hold on. All right. And we would have been getting the dragon's tooth today. I can't tell as much, but it's just straight. Fog and it's supposed to rain and everything today, so but Roper's got a more and we're back. So this is not really a joke, it's more introspective because as most of you know I'm rather old <laughs> and I've been thinking about well you know what happens when you get old. You finally come to the point where you die. So anyway, my it's dark. My thought is I decided I not I want to die like my grandfather did in his sleep. Not like the other four people in the car with him screaming for their life. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way, Robert. Ain't no way. That's it. Yeah. Well, you're looking good. Yeah, so it was all easy. Yeah. Flat lands up at the Virginia's top of the crown. Virginia straight flat. <laughs> We're chilling here in our zero day, and Splathead's back. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Came to do some slack packing. And you're grinning. I love it. Yeah. Living the life, right? And you're gonna make Rick's my got a slack easy. pack. <laughs> Ooh, nice! It's actually my dog backpack. When I used to go out with the dogs and the oh, country yeah? run around, I took, always took this one. So. Leo and I are gonna have to bust our ass to keep up with these guys now. You can give me your food. <laughs> <laughs> That'll make sure you make it to the next stop, right? <laughs> right, yeah. I guess, just... So check it out. Rick's ready for his first day of school. <laughs> He's got a slack ready to go. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's up everyone? So uh, I wanted to just share with you guys that I, I didn't get the new shoes that I wanted to in Parisburg because we didn't end up having time. Um, but yesterday I was able to get into a store, uh, run about uh, in Blacksburg is where the, the store that I went to. Um, so I'll show you my old shoes real quick. I had the Hoka Speed Goat 4s, 
Um, they had 568.3 miles on them over 53 days, which was averaging 10.7 something miles a day on them. Uh, I really love them. You can see that I, I did get a lot of, uh, put a lot of beatings on them. I was starting to get a hole on the side here from all the rocks. You can see my toe was getting pretty bad beat up right here. And then the heel, you can see uh, I was using a lot of the inside of the, the heel. A lot of the tread is, is pretty worn out on it. Um, here's the other one. Just, just quick show you guys. And then the same, same holes wearing in through here. So these are the Speed Goat 4s. I did end up going with Hoka's again, but I got the Speed Goat 5s. The uh, Speed Goat 5s still have the um, four millimeter heel to toe uh, drop. Uh, they have a 33 millimeter cushion on them, which provides, um, it's a, they're 0.5 ounces less than the Speed Goat 4s, which just provides a softer cushion and a greater energy return they say uh, they also have the same vibram grip uh, sole and then you can see like the the design is a little bit different down here a little deeper provides a uh, greater traction uh, the the heels different so you have this lip here versus the the loop here, I didn't like this. I wish this would have been vertical instead of horizontal. And then the uh, the tongue, the tongue is a little bit different. It's hard to kind of see. It's got this, uh, it's got this like dip in it. I don't know if I'm gonna like that too much. Let's see how it gets kind of. see it right there um, and then it's got a increased uh, toe box size than the Spigo 4 but I'll be excited to get out there and try these on the trail uh, starting tomorrow I have them again for probably 500 miles or so uh, I'll let you guys know if I can tell a big difference between the fours and the fives thanks What up everyone? So we are closing out this zero day. Um, we finished a couple videos, as you've seen. Um, other than the weather, we got to link back up with Splathead, AKA Rob. Um, haven't seen him since uh, leaving the Smokies. So that was pretty cool. He's gonna be um, slack packing Silverback and roper for the next two two or three weeks, two weeks yeah. um so you might not see them as much as much we're gonna do the best that we can we're gonna try to keep up to keep up um we're bursting out of the gate tomorrow with a the 20 mile with a 19 to 20 miler trying to keep up with them uh, I don't know how long that'll be sustainable, but... I think we can do it. Yeah, we're gonna try our best. Uh, but it was cool seeing him again. So, Splathead, welcome back to the team. <laughs> uh, yeah, as, other than that, yeah. what did we do today? We went and got... Um, I got, we got some more cigars. Um, got dinner, we got did, dinner, laundry. did laundry, we hung outside for a little bit and got a sunburn yep. for whatever reason. Um, yeah. And then just worked on videos as usual. Packed up a little bit, organized a little bit. But yeah. Avoided the storms. Well, it's going to rain on us tomorrow. Yeah, it was back-to-back -back days. Yeah. 
but uh, Tuesday should be nice, which is what we were aiming for. Anyways, that's the whole reason we took a zero is so that we could get to, I'm not, how do you say it? Caffeine on. Yeah. When it was nice, because that's one of the things that we really want to see, so. Yeah. Right. We'll, uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.